Pfizer COVID vaccine is finally in San Diego, but there's still a lot of questions. Now, scientists and the government were able to fast track vaccines in a concerted effort to end the pandemic, but that speed has made many Americans raise concerns about safety. Joining us now to talk about that, ABC News correspondent Bob Woodruff, who's hosting a special tonight with an in-depth look at the safety and production of this vaccine. First of all, welcome, Bob. It's great to be here. So as you know, recent polls have shown the significant number of Americans expressing some reservations about getting this vaccine in a timely manner. And as you know, at least 70 percent experts are saying need to take it in order to achieve some sort of herd immunity. What did you find out when you took a deep look into this? Well, first of all, what today we actually finished a uh, some polling asking Americans whether they would do it or not. And the number now is 80%. I'm, just a few weeks ago, it was about 50% said they would do it. Now 80% said they would take the vaccine, about 40% now, another 40% a little longer down the road, but they still believe in the vaccine and they just wanna see how it works. So that's a good part of it. I'd like to encourage people to take the vaccine because I've been in the labs, I've seen what the scientists do and how they feel. We also have a situation where the government, like never before, producing a vaccine have prepaid all of the money and so the company don't take the risk. Secondly, the tech, technology and knowledge about science is so much better than any other vaccine before. So yeah, these don't take five years. We all thought a year and a half maybe, but now it's less than a year, which is incredible. And I think everybody's confident. You're gonna see the former presidents to take it as soon as they can get them. And Bob, as you know, Pfizer is the first to get this vaccine approved. We know that Moderna, for example, AstraZeneca, there are other companies who are close behind. Are these vaccines interchangeable? I mean, can people feel confident if they feel about confident about the Pfizer vaccine? Should they also feel confident about the others that are coming down the line? The, the, the Pfizer and the Moderna would be the first ones that are going to be approved. They're, they're the ones you already get in the Pfizer one. You can get Moderna probably by the end of the month. Uh, both of them are using the same kinds of, of technology, the same kind of, it's the same kind of vaccine, the same model of it. The other ones have slightly different ones, um, but these first two, when they come out, already proven themselves. One, 90% and 95% between those two, maybe once in a uh, hundred years, but this is incredible. It's partly because I said it, it's more advanced now than it ever was before. So yeah, those, those vaccines have already proven to be safe and effective. And other than the speed of which they were able to produce this vaccine, what else surprised you when you took a deep look into the process? The process of developing the vaccines, uh, I don't think I, I didn't know much about it to tell you the truth before. I was actually in Wuhan on January 20th at the airport of Wuhan, I was reporting on this story. And with that moment, it was just the first time when one American had gotten this, this, this disease. And so we didn't think it was gonna travel this far over to the United States. But now, you know, it happened. And so I never, none of us ever saw this coming. And three of my kids actually, uh, are positive. So I've got one son, one son, one daughter left who has not gotten it. So I think people see this in their backyard and that's why there's been so much commitment to it. And that's why people want this. It's never happened before like this in the world. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, we're very interested in seeing that special tonight. Thank you so much for sharing some of your insights. Thanks, Virginia.